Hey guys, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today I am doing this huge 24 inch round board. Um, I actually want to tell you real quick how I did it. I spray painted it white and then while the spray paint was still wet, I spray painted it lightly with gray and then I did a real quick light, very light coat of white over top of it again. That's how I got like the white and gray effect going on there, which I absolutely love. Today I will be using general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store. I have everything listed below. I am using glitter from Michaels, two different kinds, and I will be using gray silver mist from the color cottage. Oops. Oh, I will also be using white from the color cottage also. Anybody out there who has watched my videos knows that I have tried just about every resin out there. I cannot find a resin that I like. But finally, I did. I am absolutely in love with this resin. There's no VOCs, 45 minute to an hour working time, no fumes at all, very inexpensive. And if you use the code MONICA20, you will get 20% off of your order, making it very inexpensive. You guys are going to love it. Give it a try. And if you do, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on it. Okay, let me get started. So I mixed up one part hardener to one part resin. I stirred it together for three minutes. I am doing the whole top half of my board just with clear because I absolutely love the way the spray paint gave me that effect. I love that look and I wanna keep it. So just by putting clear on top, it will keep that look. So I'm using my hand and I always make sure I do the edges. You never want your edges to look bad. You want it to look as clean and professional as the top. I'm not worried about where I spilled the silver because that's where it's going to go anyway. So right now I'm just pouring the silver on and I will mix up some white also. And I'm mixing up sparkly white from the color cottage. Again, just rubbing it in with my hands.
Now I put the white glitter into a cup. These are a little bit bigger flakes. I got this at Michael's. The reason why I'm putting them in a cup is just for better control. As you can see, I kind of messed up with the silver glitter. But this is working out pretty good. Now I'm going to come down into little droplets at the end, the bottom of the board. I definitely should have brought my camera closer, but I wasn't even thinking. I was just so into my art piece. So hopefully you're getting um, the idea of what I'm doing. So if you've learned anything or if you've liked my artwork today, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to do so. That means so much to me. I answer every single one of them. I love all you guys out there. I just want to say a special prayer to one of my YouTubers who has gone through a little bit of a medical issue. Her name is Karen. I hope for the best and you will be in my prayers. This is just finishing up the piece with the torch. It actually allows it to smooth the resin out, pop all the bubbles. I really don't want the resin to move too much. So I'm doing a quick torch. When I am done with this piece, I'll let it cure for 24 hours. Then I will definitely put another heavy layer of resin over top. I always seal my paintings with a second coat of resin when I am finished. Anything that you might need for your resin painting, if you go underneath my description, I have Amazon links. It will take you to any of the supplies that you may need to do your resin painting. I am an Amazon affiliate, so Amazon gives me a little bit of credit for sending you to their site. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it definitely helps my channel. If you guys liked what you, you saw today, I do have a tip jar. It's a PayPal account. Um, I appreciate anybody who tips me or gives me a donation. Thank you so much. Here's my final piece. Have a great and blessed day. Come here. Come here, Duke. Come here, buddy. I'll go for a walk. Come on, get up. Okay.